Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. What are we doing today, Amber? We're going to wire this trainer that I built. We'll put a link to this lesson in the description where we go step by step with what we're going to be doing. For this lesson, you will need wire strippers and a terminal block screwdriver. In hindsight, we probably should have used a Phillips screwdriver on the lights and buttons. We'll put links to those in the description below. Your trainer comes with pre-cut wire. To strip it, simply insert it into the proper hole, close the strippers, and pull. There isn't a particular order you need to go in, but I'm going to start by connecting the wires to the bottom of the PLC. You'll need wires on the two VAC V DC terminals, the O slash 0, O slash 1, O slash 2, O slash 3, DC 24 V plus, and DC 24 V minus terminals. Once you've tightened the screws, be sure to give the wire a tug to make sure it doesn't come out. Next, I'm going to connect the wires to the top of the PLC. You'll need wires on both DC comms, I slash zero, I slash one, I slash two, I slash three, and I slash four terminals. Next, I'm going to connect the X2 common terminals to the lights. Just loop this from light to light, then loop it on the second set of gray terminal blocks to the left of the PLC, which is the minus 24 volt. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to see more lessons. We release new how-tos every week. Let us know what you'd like to see us talk about in the comments. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the normally open contacts on buttons 1, 2, 3, and 4 plus switch 1. Looping them all to the first set of gray terminal blocks to the left of the PLC, which is the plus 24 volt. Now I'm going to grab the wires I connected to the two VAC VDC terminals and the DC 24 V plus and connect them to the plus 24 volt terminal block. Next grab the DC 24 V minus terminal wire from the bottom of the PLC and the two DC com wires from the top of the PLC and connect them to the minus 24 volt terminal block. Also, while I connected them all to the same terminal block in this video, this wouldn't be a good practice in a real control panel. You should only have one wire per terminal, but I wanted to keep up the pace of this video. Now I'm going to connect the input wires to the push button. Note that the I slash zero wire actually goes to button one. Then just continue across through switch one. Now we are going to do the same with our outputs. O slash zero goes to light one and just continue across to light four. And we're done. And when you first look at this, you're gonna be like, whoa, that's a ball to mess. But when, if you want to, you can tie wrap these wires up neatly. But part of the point of this trader is that you can learn how to wire it. So that we just wire it just like probably you would on the getting started exercise. So once you have it wired, it is, your PLC is pre-programmed so that you can test it. But now we will see how we do it. Fire in the hole. When you press the green button, the green light will come on. When you press the yellow button, the yellow light will come on. When you press the red button, the red light will come on. And when you press the blue button, the blue light will come on. And then, you, and then switch one if you switch it. It will sequence through those. And if all of that works, then you have successfully wired your PLC. Move on to the next lesson where we will learn how to configure both our serial and ethernet drivers in RS links so that we can connect to the PLC, upload, download, and go online. Till next time. See ya. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos. And like this video and comment on what you would like to see next. Visit our website where we offer a full line of PLCs, simulators, control panels, PLC trainers, and more.